Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this has got to be one of the most requested pair of Oakley sunglasses that I've gotten to review. I've gotten so many requests to review this particular pair that I had to go out there and purchase them. I like them, I didn't know if I was gonna purchase them, but after so many folks asked for me to pick them up, and not only pick them up to review them, but also do a comparison with another model, I had to go ahead and do it. Luckily, my Oakley store had them in stock, so I was able to pick them up. Obviously, as you saw by the title, this is the Oakley Baxter, but this is the Baxter Metal. And right now, the Baxter Metal is available in two colors. Um, this is the one that kind of spoke to me more, and it is the matte black frame with the Prism 24K lenses. Now, if you guys follow the channel, you know that recently I did a review on the uh, regular Baxter model. So if you guys are interested in seeing that video, uh, you can go ahead and click on the link above. I'll leave it a link um, below also, and I'll probably link it at the end of the video also. Um, if you guys don't know, also I do have an Oakley playlist. So if you're ever looking for just Oakley glasses or Oakley stuff, I have a playlist where I put all those videos. I'll also leave a link for that at the end and probably um, in the description as well. But are good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the glasses themselves. Now, the, because this is just going to be a look at this particular model, I'm not going to go too much in depth as far as you know everything like I mentioned in the original video. Again, if you want to know more about them, go ahead and click on that original video. But I'll show you guys this model here, which is the metal one, and then also I do a um, I'll show you know I'll put them on, but I'll also do a comparison with the other model because so many folks wanted to see them side by side. So let's go ahead and open this one up. It obviously comes in the box right here. Here. Now the other thing is, um, I know some folks asked, this does say prescription ready no, so it does not come as a prescription ready lens. So let's go ahead and open it up. You have uh, just your standard uh, stuff inside of there, but you do get an extra set of the nose pieces here, so that is really awesome. All right, taking a look at the glasses themselves, you do just get a standard microfiber bag here. and. Here they are. Again, this is the matte black frame. So um, the main difference, or not the main difference, but one of the difference that you'll see from this model, and I believe the other model as well, can't remember the exact colorway of the other model. I think it's like a matte clear with, I wanna say um, violet or sapphire lenses or something like that. But the, the main difference between the, mo the metal models and the standard models is you don't get the, that really crazy um, combination of colors like you get on the other one. This one is the top of the frame is matte black, the bottom here is matte black as well, and then you get that Prism 24K lens um, going across the front there. So obviously these are shield lenses, so it's one piece of lens. And um, what I like about this model also is that you do get the um, Oakley in that kind of older, uh, kind of retro font from the original stylings. Again, if you um, if you don't know and you haven't had a chance to take a look at the original video, uh, these were um, basically inspired by Oakley's original razor blade sunglasses, which was um, way back um, in the beginning of Oakley that they came out with. So obviously the star of the show is the metal arms here, uh, or the metal stems, and here they are. So I really like that they kept with the gold uh, kind of theme and they added it to the plate that the um, script, the Oakley script here is written on. And then the actual metal piece is also gold, which looks really, really awesome. Black and gold is obviously a really nice combination. Um, the black, the, especially matte black. The matte black obviously uh, allows that gold color both in the lens, uh, but also in the um, you know the, the piece right here where the Oakley is spelled out, and then the actual um, metal stem here on the arms look really nice and pop out. Now, um, I was reading up on these on Oakley's website, and they did mention that um, this particular frame, they say it's elevated with metal material, which is actually an homage to the prototype for the first Oakley sunglasses, which were made from a goggle lens and a wire coat hanger. So that is the reason why they went with this kind of wired um, stem here, which looks really, really, really awesome. Now, um, there is uh, some writing on the inside of, or in the outside of the stem right there. Not exactly sure what that is. Um, I couldn't find anything in Oakley's website. So if anybody knows what that writing means, and I know I probably can't see it, 
Um, but if anybody knows what that writing is there, definitely leave it in the comment section below. I know um, a lot of folks would like to know, including myself. Now, one of the other main differences between the original Baxter model and this one is that you do have an obtainium on the back portion right here of the stems. Now that is a question that I was asked in my other video. Uh, the original Baxters or the non-metal Baxters do not have an obtainium on the end of the stems here. The metal ones do. You do have an obtainium on the nose piece right here. And as I showed you earlier, you do have a, uh, a replacement one that comes inside of it. So really, really awesome pair. Um, you do have the uh, right here, the skew for this model. And then you have that icon with the kind of uh, infinity symbol going around it, which to note that this is a biomatter frame, which is made from um, biomaterials having at least 56% bio-based carbon content. So, um, you know, obviously it's better for the environment. They're, uh, you know, uh, better made. And then on the other side right here, not better made, but you know, just a different type of material that they make it with. Um, it just says Baxter, which is the BXTR. And again, if you're wondering what that means, uh, go ahead and take a look at that original video because I went in depth into what that is. Uh, you do have the little USA assembled kind of little plaque that is in there. So that's nice to see also. And um, yeah, these, this is a great, great frame. Really, really awesome. Um, I'm really glad that I was able to pick it up afterwards. You know, I know I said that I wasn't sure if I was gonna pick it up. And then when I went looking for it, I saw it at the store, tried it on, tried this color on, tried the other color on. And I thought that this one was um, a little bit more what a lot of folks were looking for. But I like that other colorway also. The, um, the metal pieces are actually kind of rainbow iridescent which goes really nice with the um with the color of the lens so i might end up picking that one up as well who knows we'll see if i do maybe i'll show them both in a video but let me go ahead and grab the um original baxter the non-metal one and i'll show you guys um uh, i'll show them to you side by side all right so here they are side by side obviously at first glance when you're looking at them straight on they um they look pretty similar you know you can see that actually both of these are a matte black frame so on the non-metal here the top of the frame is matte black but as you can see the bottom here is more of a translucent kind of aqua color so that's one of the things i was uh, a little hesitant about picking up the metal in um in this color combination because the tops are pretty much similar to matte black. But again, I really like that combination of the Prism 24K uh, gold color lens and just everything that goes with it. So uh, obviously the main difference is um, besides the uh, metal stems is that this does have the elliptical icon. So you do have that kind of rounded icon there and it does not have the um, Oakley um, spelled out on the lens there whereas this one does have it on the lens, and then it also has it on the side of the stems here. So let me hold these one on top of the other, side by side, so you guys can see the main difference. So obviously, you know, the bottom one is the metal one. So you can see how that um, stem kind of goes down uh, at a more acute angle, and then uh, the way it comes back. Uh, as far as the fit goes, it does not affect the fit at all. They both fit very comfortable, very nice. And then um, obviously at the end, you do not have the unobtainium on the non-metal one, but you do have it on the uh, metal one. And then obviously it's the kind of very aggressive angle that this takes. So this is obviously the metal one is going to be more visually striking in my opinion. But I like the fact that, as I mentioned earlier, you don't get one solid color with the non-metal one. So in this one, you do have that very uh, vibrant pink that matches the icon, and then it um, kind of throws it off right in the front here, which is a really cool combination. And if you've seen the different color combinations that the non-metal Baxter comes in, all of them are very unique. All of them are, have a bunch of colors all over the place. Some of them have spots. Some of them um, are very neon colors. Some of them are a little bit more muted. So uh, they do have a little bit for anyone that's out there looking for it. But obviously when you're wearing the uh, metal here, the Baxter metal, uh, it's it's going to attract a lot of attentions. It's going to be a conversation piece, a conversation starter. A lot of folks that maybe don't know or haven't seen it are going to ask you to see it. And I think that's one of the really, really cool things that Oakley is getting back to, um, which is what a lot of collectors and a lot of folks that really like Oakley and have been following him for years were 
hoping that they would get back to. And that's those pieces that people are going to want to wear because other folks are going to want to see them. Um, and it almost becomes like a fashion thing. So that is really cool. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around. I'll throw these on so you guys can see what they look like on me. All right, so let me go ahead and put these on. Again, this is the Baxter Metal model. Uh, this particular one being in the matte black frame with the Prism 24K lenses. They fit really awesome. They fit like a glove. You put them on, they're gonna stay in place. I know a lot of folks were also asking if the Baxter is a model that you can use for cycling purposes. Um, the original non-metal one, and I keep saying the original one, the non-metal one, um, it does have the unobtainium on the nose, but it doesn't have it on the ears. So again, that's going to be more of a personal preference, a personal call for you. This particular one is going to be a little bit heavier. Obviously it has metal stems, um, but it does have the unobtainium on the ears and on the nose. So again, if you're gonna be using it for that purpose, you can. Uh, in my opinion, because of the metal, it's more of a lifestyle frame, something to uh, you know wear when you're out and about. Uh, as you can see right, right on, it's already a pretty striking pair of sunglasses, that black, matte black with the Prism 24K gold lenses. Uh, looks really awesome, that combination looks really nice. But then you turn to the side, and then you see these metal stems and there's got a, it's got a lot going on right there. So it looks really, really cool. You do have a decent wrap on them, but again, they are, um, there is a little bit of space right here, at least for the way they fit on my face. Um, so, you know, that's obviously something to note. And that's why I would say these are more um, lifestyle glasses, not so much sports specific or sports oriented, unless you're doing a sport like cycling or running or something like that, where you're gonna be looking straight ahead. Uh, but again, you don't want any wind or anything like that coming in from the sides, which you can and which might happen when you're cycling. So again, something to keep in mind, but I'll give you a look on the other side as well. Again, really, really awesome. I just love the way that they combined the part right here that has you know the oak leaf spelled out with the gold right here, so the gold behind it with the gold, and then the, the Prism 24K lens looks really, really awesome. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the other video of the uh, non-metal ones, I'll go ahead and put those on as well so you can see. That way, if you only watch this video, at least you can see what they both look like. So I can tell you that this is going to be a slightly looser fit, meaning because it's not a metal, it will flex a little bit. It's still very nice and comfortable. It still has a tight fit, not tight where it's squeezing, but comfortable where it's not gonna fall off or anything like that. But again, as you can see, um, it's a little bit higher uh, the way that the stems sit on your on your head versus with the metal because you do have that dip that kind of dips down It'll be a little bit of a uh, you know, it'll fall down a little bit more But again very very comfortable you still do have that bit of a gap right on the sides here So again something to note as you're wearing these I'll go ahead and put these on back on and as always, I do like to showcase, you know, if you're going to be wearing these and then maybe you're going to walk into a, an establishment and you're going to have to take them off, usually what I'll do is I'll throw them on top of my head like this. As you guys can see there, they're not going anywhere. They're, they are nice and secure. They're not um, squeezing my head or anything like that. But again, you will see a difference in how these fit. So if you have a wider face and you're really looking for the Baxter model, I would recommend that you go with the non-metal ones because they are gonna give you a little bit of, of flexibility or flex when you put them on versus the metal ones. Um, they kind of uh, just a tad bit fold in like this um, and there's not much flex in it. Just the way that these were designed, there isn't that much flex in it. So it is more of a tighter kind of secure fit. So this is, the metal ones will be, in my opinion and the way they feel for me, better for somebody with more of a narrow face, more of a slimmer face, longer face, kind of like mine. And then if you have a wider face um, or a rounder face or something like that, then the non-metal ones will probably be better for you as far as the fit, it'll be more comfortable. But as far as how they fit on your face, the height and all that stuff, it is basically the same exact fit for both of these. So again, um, I wanted to go ahead and showcase these metal ones because it has been, for a while, one of the, my most requested pairs that people have been asking for me to pick them up. I know they're fairly new. Not a lot of videos on YouTube on them, so I wanted to go ahead and get them so I can do that comparison and show them off for you guys in case you have any other questions, and hopefully you'll be able to make an educated uh, decision when you purchase these or any other uh, Oakley products or Oakley sunglasses that I showcase on my channel. So there it is. That is a look at the Baxter Metal model, this particular one in the matte black frame with the Prism 24K lenses. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.